I, in case you do not know, I'm uh, getting back into the world of cassette tapes and buying records from back in the old days. So it's my cassette deck there, the Yamaha KX260RS works very well, but yeah, I, I don't have any problems with it. Uh, but other than the fact that cassettes are typically uh, intended to be carried around them absolutely everywhere. So this is how small a cassette tape really is by the way. Uh, very easy to take with you. But then you would of course need a portable player in order to be able to play uh, the cassette on the go and perhaps even record to it. Now I have seen a solution in a thrift store for quite some uh, time. Just a little bit. Sorry if I go in there with picture and checking. Yep, there we go. Uh, I found in a thrift store the smallest boom box I have ever seen. I don't even know if I could call it a boombox because it is so tiny, so cute, but it isn't quite a warping because it has built-in speakers and it doesn't have the typical size and shape of a warping, but it isn't quite a boombox because it isn't that big either. It, I mean, I think it's cool back just fine. Yeah, the uh, reason I'm getting this is of course because of the... Uh, uh, I want to uh, invite someone over to go to a park or something like that and then I really just want to get the sets with me because there's obviously no internet connection at the park, no Wi-Fi and when it comes to mobile connection I only have uh, prepaid Uh, which can really tally up uh, depending on the sound quality. They sort of tally up, but cassette, yeah. Huh. Uh, one of my aunts actually has a big loft of cassettes, well, relatively large compared to my measly two, only one of which I recall this stuff on, otherwise it's left as is. Uh, and she has quite some more tapes, uh, actually pretty old from her, from her time. And I really want to take these. And in addition, of course, I really do need a portable player to get the best that uh, cassette can get in terms of portability. Now, it's not going to be hi-fi by any stretch of the imagination. It is not hi-fi. But it is still a good step in, in the world of portable audio, portable analog audio. So, here we go. Let's have a look at whether it is there in that specific thrift store. Okay, so I'm right in front of the thrift store and I've seen that little boom box. I don't know before that. Uh, quite some time ago, quite a couple of days ago. So, let's have a look at if it is still there. And I'll look throughout the rest of the shop and the rest of this area in general. There it is, a very simple little radio cassette player. Right there for C cells, I guess. And let's take it to the testing bench. I have a test cassette. And just can't believe that's where the cassette goes. And play. Fast forward and stop. Nope, no rewind. The radio on there as well, tuning. But I can't record from the radio to tape. Okay, so it's time to have a look at if it works or not. I'm going to be using a set of pretty much the only one I have here. And I've pinpointed, I've recorded quite a lot of new stuff on here, so I've pinpointed the system interest on the home deck to a music piece of music from Jamenda because this unfortunately doesn't have intro scan. Okay no so I can't use the official testing station because the power plug has been unplugged there. Or, and there's an island nearby. 
it's always there. Luckily, there's another outlet right there that I could use for testing purposes. The price of this device is only about five euros, so that's pretty cheap compared to the 2250 on the cassette deck, the home deck. But you can definitely feel it cheap, plasticky. That's it, we'll play with it soon. didn't work. Yeah, it, this one doesn't work. Uh, yeah, oh, it actually does work as a radio. But the tape deck is That isn't what I expect, expect from tape and this kind of L cheap equipment is probably one of the reasons why people are garlic this as being a uh, poor quality. So, that one doesn't work. Perhaps this one's a bit of a better gamble. Plugging it in. Oops. Uh, some, something went wrong, unfortunately. And this, something fell right away right there. Yeah. That's that. Right there, putting in the tape. Just like that. And now, if I'm closing it, I'm checking if the radio works. No wave. Yeah. Perhaps this version is even worse. I mean, the radio doesn't work, but let's check if at least the tape doesn't have worked. I've got the tape in the wrong way around. Yeah. So I'd be. I can hear it turning, but uh, yeah. yeah, the hope it doesn't seem very stuck. And in addition, realised it didn't come with any uh, speakers, but yeah. So, but, uh, this at least first it recalls is a bit this. of a failure. For that reason. Interesting and exciting but rather disappointing misadventure of getting a portable cassette deck. One of these, that one, the OK. I have quite some problems with the tape deck. It, it's got terrible, wow, and it's not so bad I would pick it up for testing. I mean, it's terrible. I wouldn't use this. Now, the Super Tech. Which is this one. Summary. Got a fixed up power cord, very botched up power cord. Um, doesn't have a pair of speakers with it to go along with it. And it seems like it doesn't work at all. Uh, very, very sticky. So, I wouldn't use any of these to play my tape. But, I have a lot of stuff that's around here. Now, uh, some of these old tapes are set that time. Uh, I really have a favourite Yamaha over this. It's either this one, for example, is a very old model. This door apparently is a bit broken. There you are. It uh, auto reverse, very handy it seems, but and again, the heads might become misaligned, and in general, it's a very old device. Find near one, this one is a double set deck, and the dual decks are a bit less quality than the single decks. Okay, sacrifice, but we have got quite a bit. 
so CD players are uh, yeah, it's just stuff they throw away, but my idea of getting a portable cassette deck, I did promise it to myself, but it has failed miserably. It doesn't work. Both of these didn't quite work as well. All going well. So it's a bit of a lesson when threshing. Test all the electronics before you buy them. It's a, a bit of a special lesson when you give to all of you guys when you're threshing for anything. Just have a good close look at it before you're actually going to buy it. There's some really nice old fashioned furniture here, uh, right there as well. But let's have a look. Hey, interesting. This one has mini disc, CD, and cassette, but it's a micro, so I won't have a micro. So I'm going to call it an interesting and exciting but disappointing uh, misadventure. But now I'm going to go throughout the rest of the area here. And I've got something to take a photo of.